Let's talk about how to get the roots of a polynomial. Essentially what that means is that we have something, we have a polynomial, and we want to know what values are going to make this, what values for the variable, x in this case, are going to make the polynomial work. We're solving it. Roots, by the way, is a synonym for the word solution or zero. Those are the words we use in algebra for root. They all mean the same thing. So uh, if we have it factored, as we do here, the way we get the roots are, we're going to look at each part and we're going to say, when you have this times this times this times this equals zero, in order to multiply to get zero, one of these guys has to equal zero. In fact, if any of these was zero, doesn't matter what happens in the other parentheses, anything times zero is zero. So we're going to say, hey, what would make this guy equal zero? And the answer is zero. So x could equal zero. Now we say, what would make this equal zero? So you're just going to rewrite it equal to zero. Solve, add three to both sides, x equals three. So there's another root or solution or zero. Okay, what would make this thing equal zero? 2x plus 4 equals zero. Solve it. Divide by 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. There's another solution. And lastly, this one. x plus 5 equals 0. I'm writing x plus 5 equals 0 because I'm saying what would make this expression in the parentheses equal to 0? So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. x equals negative 5. That's our last solution. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4 solutions to this polynomial. Either 0, 3, negative 2, or negative 5 will make this work. And that's because, one last time, if you plug in 3, for example, 3 minus 3 is 0. So this expression will equal 0. It doesn't matter what these guys are going to wind up equaling, because 0 times anything is 0.